Have you ever had your kitchen cabinet doors, when you close them, they bind and they hit each other? Or perhaps they're uneven, and then when you try to tighten it down, and now the screw is stripped. This video is for you. Stay tuned. My name is Captain Darren, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix those strip screws in your kitchen cabinet. We're in my kitchen, and uh, this door on the cabinet was binding and hitting the top. So it was uneven. So when I try to tighten down the screws in this particle board, it stripped. So it kept spinning and spinning and spinning. So I removed the door. It's right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this problem, hopefully permanently. The tools I'll be using for this repair is a drill, Gorilla Glue, the original screws that came with the hinges, a drill bit, and the important piece of the puzzle, these golf tees. I'm gonna work with the bottom hinge first. So I'm gonna drill out those two holes because right now here is the golf tee. It will not go in deep enough to make an anchor for the screw. So I'm gonna drill out those two holes and we're going to use a drill bit that is not thicker than the golf tee. Word of caution, if you're going to drill the hole out, be careful because if you're going to drill all the way through, you can hit something that's behind there. So what I recommend to do is measure and tape off how much you're going to need to drill. So as you drill, you stop applying pressure to where the tape's located. When you measure how much you're going to drill in, use a piece of tape and just mark it off. So there, that's the thickness where I'm going to stop the drill, just like that. It goes in with a little bit of resistance and that's what you want. Yep. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use Gorilla Glue and glue it in. There are some people that did this little fix and they use like toothpicks or they use bamboo skewers. But I think with this golf tee, this is going to be the best method to use because it's a hard wood. The Gorilla Glue, all right? They say here, damp it. So I need to use some water. I have a bottle here. It's um, water, just regular water. That I had a spare bottle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lightly spray the hole to damp it. All right. I just one spray, I just damp the, uh, the hole. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue and put it on the tip. Alright, so that's it. You see there's a little bit of blobs on it. and put it in. I'm gonna let the glue cure for at least two hours and then uh, when it's done, I'm just gonna hack these off. I'm gonna use a, um, a hacksaw, but just the blades only. 
got a hacksaw blade. I'm just going to go flush with this and just cut off the tees. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a pilot hole in here and then upon completion of that I'm going to install the hinges. This is a 1 16th size drill bit to drill as a pilot hole and I marked it with a tape about the length of the screw itself. Okay, this is gonna be the hard part. You're gonna need a second person to hold the, the panel right here, this one right here, while I screw in the screws. Everything, it's back in its position. I'm going to close the door right now. Okay, look at the alignment from the top. Going down to the bottom, it's good. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Captain Darren, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.